presence of God. The presence of God. The presence of God is all I need. The presence of God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. The presence of God. Oh, the presence of God. Is all the presence of God. The presence of God. The presence of God is all I need. The presence of God. Thank you, Jesus. The presence of God. Oh, the presence of God is all. God bless you so much for joining me this evening. Wherever you are, I bring greetings from my Lord Jesus Christ. And I know that tonight is going to be powerful because you are blessed as you are watching me. Because I have something important to give to you. And it is only through this media that you can receive such an, an information. And this evening you are blessed as you are watching the prophet of God. And I want you to prepare your heart. <laughs> uh, I want you to prepare your heart. Prepare your mind. And let's see what the Lord has for us. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. The presence of God. The presence of God. The presence of God is all I need. The presence of God. I want to talk about the presence of God. And that is that is the message for today. Cultivating the presence of God. So quickly, if you have just joined me whilst we are just shooting, um, we are waiting for our brothers and our sisters who will join us later. But God bless you for those um, who, have, who have joined us. Barbara is with us. Isaac with it, is with us. Dollar is with us. So we are talking about cultivating the presence of God. The presence of God is very, very important. And to, tonight I'm talking about the presence of God. There are a lot of presence. There are presence, different types of presence. The, the, there is the present, the presence of God, the presence of the devil, the presence of people around your, your loved ones, the presence of those people who hate you. Than the presence of Pharaoh. So at least there are a lot of presence. But tonight I am talking about the presence of God. It's what you need. It's what I need. And this night God has put it on my heart to talk to you about it. So that you cultivate it. Going to church doesn't give you the presence of God. So that is why I am en have entitled my message Cultivating the Presence of God. You have to cultivate it and it is it is very very important so there are a lot of presence that is going on we engage in as we wake up we engage in with the presence that is around us but God is speaking to us this evening that we should cultivate his presence Exodus chapter 25 verse 21 let's hear the word of God um, then from there we will pick it and I know that God has something for you. In the presence of God. Thank you so much. As, as Exodus chapter 25. 
and then we have to change this organ. Exodus chapter 25, verse, <laughs> verse 21, we'll change the organ. Tell him. Exodus 21. <laughs> God bless you for joining. <laughs> Mr. Fogu, God bless you for joining me. I'm talking about the presence of God. The presence of God. Exodus chapter 25, verse 21. Tonight you'll be blessed as you hear a message called Cultivating the Presence of God. Exodus 25, verse 21. Thank you. Let it go there a bit, thank you. Um, 21 and 22. And thou shalt put the mercy seat above upon the ark, and in the ark thou shalt put the testimony that I shall give thee. And there I will meet thee, and I will commune with thee from above the mercy seat, from between the two cherubim which are upon the ark of the testimony of all things which I will give thee in commandment unto the children of Israel. I am talking about the presence of God, the presence. Exodus chapter 25, 21 and 22 says, And you shall put on, it, it was a command God was giving to Moses. So it says that, And you shall put the mercy seat above the ark and in the ark you shall put the testimony that I shall give thee then the verse 22 says and there I will meet thee with thee and I will commune, commune with thee from above the mercy seat I am talking about a place that God is telling Moses that I'm, I want to commune with thee it says, and there I will meet thee. Because I've read a lot of words here. But what I want to emphasize, what I want to let your mind come on is verse 22. It says that, and there I will meet thee. And I will commune with thee from above. There I will meet thee. Which, which is, that there talks about a place that Moses needed to cultivate. Moses needed to cultivate through that. God says that, and there I will meet thee, and I will commune with thee. Tonight I am praying that people who are watching us are matured to capture this revelation. And there I will, I will meet thee, and commune with thee. I am talking about the presence. A place, a particular place that Moses needed to cultivate. Mo Moses needed to gather the things that God wanted him to gather. And he says that from there I will meet thee. From there I will meet thee. I am talking about cultivating the presence of God. The presence of God. God, God is a, a universal God. God is everywhere. But his presence is not everywhere. Ladies and gentlemen, God is everywhere, but his presence is not everywhere. So the, the Exodus 25, 21 we read, 22, it says that, and I will meet with thee, Mishael, and I will commune, 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 I will commune with thee from the mercy seat. I will meet, I will meet thee. Then I will commune. I will speak with thee. I will have an interaction with thee. I will communicate with thee. I will sit down with thee, with you. He's talking about the place. A place. And this evening, I want to speak to you that you need to cultivate that place. God wants to communicate. God wants to commune with us. That is why the last episode we were talking about we, we, in in. Psalm 91, it says that he that dwelleth, he that dwelleth in the secret place of the Mosai. So if you can cultivate that place, if you can cultivate that place for God, that is that is the meeting place with you and God. 
and he says that and there I will meet thee and there I will come I will commune so it's a place that God is talking about so even though God is everywhere or God is a God of universe that everything he did it he everything God did it his presence is not everywhere capture this song for me he got he got the whole world in his hands pick the key for me he got the whole world in his hands 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 we used to sing that song which is true but his presence is not everywhere his presence is not everywhere so you need to you need to cultivate that presence you need to cultivate that area for him you need to cultivate that time for him because he told Moses he said I will I will meet thee and I will commune with thee the presence so if you read in Exodus chapter 10 verse 11 it talks about how the Israelites flee from the presence of Pharaoh so if you are not in the presence of God you may be in another presence that is why he says that and there I will meet thee so if you are not in the presence of God, automatically you are in another presence. You are in another presence. So we need to be very, very careful that the presence of God is what you need. And the presence of God is what I need. So if you are not in the presence of God, you are somewhere which the devil can take an advantage over your life. So I am trying to encourage you this moment that cultivate the presence of God. You must cultivate it. If you don't cultivate it, it does not come automatic. The presence of God does not come automatic. And through the presence of God, we receive the power and the anointing. So if you don't cultivate it, it does not come automatic. The presence of God is a place you need to cultivate. You need to get a place. You need to do something. You need to spend time. So going to church alone is only 1% of the presence of God. The rest is for you. So if you are if you are watching and you need something from God or you don't need anything from God, the best place to be is in the presence of God. Genesis chapter 3 verse 8. Genesis chapter 3 verse 8. Let me see you another presence. Genesis chapter 3 verse 8. <laughs> Genesis 3 verse 8. And we are coming to pray. And uh, we are believing God. That God will bless us tonight. Genesis chapter 3 verse 8. It says that. And they heard the voice of the Lord God. Walking in the garden. In the cool of the day. And Adam and his wife. Hid themselves from the presence of the God. Let me repeat. And, and they heard the voice of God walking in, in the garden in the cool of the day. And Adam and his wife hid themselves from the presence of the Lord God among the trees of the garden. I am talking about the presence. Amen. People are now hiding themselves. They are running away from the presence of God. And this is what is happening in our generation now. Nobody want to have time with their presence again. Nobody want to spend time with their presence again. Nobody want to cultivate time with their presence again. Bible says that when Adam and his wife heard the voice of God, because in the presence of God, you will hear God's voice. In the presence of God, you will hear God's voice. In the presence of God, you will hear whether to marry or not to marry. It is, it is the presence that will tell you that you can travel or you cannot travel. It's the presence that will tell you that stay or don't stay. It's the presence that will reveal many things to you. But Bible says that when Adam and his wife heard God's voice in the cool of the day, 
they hid themselves from the presence of God. Oh, may you never hid yourself. May you, I, I am praying for you that you can cultivate a place for God. You in your room, in your apartment, wherever you stay, or you, in, in front of your bed, you cultivate a place for God. You cultivate. It says that when they heard the voice of God, when they heard it, they hid themselves. They hid themselves in another presence. Not the presence of God. And this is what is happening in our generation now. Everybody is running. Everybody is hiding himself. We are busy moving up and down. Everybody is doing something. Everybody is doing something. And everybody is not trying to look for the presence. But we are looking for different presence. Which, which, which will take us to hell. Which will dis disappoint us. Which will make us get sick. Which will make us become become disastrous. Which will destroy our life. But the, the one that can help us and keep us from falling. We have put that thing down. And now we, we, are, we, we tell God that we are busy. God, you gave me this job. God, you gave me this wife. God, you gave me this company. And you know that I am busy. And because of that, we are not cultivating it. We are running away. A lot of people are running away from the presence of God. And the devil has taken an advantage over, over our lives. Because in the presence of God, there is protection. In the presence of God, it says that I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress. Under his wings will I hide myself. So if you go outside this presence, the devil will take an advantage. The devil will beat you. The devil will pull you down. Because Bible said, If you fail to hid yourself in the presence of God, if you fail to hid yourself and you run away from the presence of God, you go and meet devil. You go and meet accident. And that is why people are in chaos. People are in pit because they run away from the presence of God. Thank God you are hearing this message right now that you need to cultivate the presence of God. You, if you are too busy to cultivate the presence of God, then you are too busy. If you are too busy to cultivate the presence of God, then you are too busy. Genesis chapter 4. I am talking about the presence. The presence. Amen. The presence. Genesis chapter 4, verse 16. Genesis chapter 4, verse 16. It says that, And Cain went out from the presence of the Lord and dwelt in the land of Nod, on the east of Eden, Cain went out from the presence of the Lord and dwelt in the land of Nod, in the east of Eden. <laughs> Cain went out. He ran away from the presence of God and went somewhere. So it means that the presence of God is a place, it's a particular place that we need to cultivate. The presence of God is a particular place that we need to cultivate. It says that and Cain went out from the presence of God and went into the north, the east of Eden. So it means that where he went, there wasn't the presence of God. There was no presence. He went into north. A lot of people are in different locations that there's no presence, but they thought that they, they are okay there. It says that Cain ran away. I pray that you have an understanding of what I'm sharing with you today. So that you will not run away from the presence of God. When Adam and his wife heard the voice of God, they hid themselves from the presence of God. Cain heard the voice, Cain, Cain heard from God and went away from the presence of God and went to north on the east of Eden. So a lot of people are in the east. A lot of you are in a you are in a corner. That is not a presence. You are in a particular marriage. That is not the presence. You are at a particular area, which is not the presence. And Cain went out from the presence of God. Beloved, this is the weapon of the devil trying to get you out from the presence of God. Because he knows that when you are able to come out, he will have an advantage over you. So no matter who you are, 
Once you come out from the presence of God, the devil takes an advantage. And that is why we need to be very, very careful so that we will be conscious about the presence of God. It says that Cain went out from the presence of God to the north. So it means that where he went, there wasn't any presence of God. Because if he went out, it means that where he was, where he was before was, a, was the presence, was the area, was the zone, was the community that the presence of God dwelled. And that is what I am talking about. The presence of God. We need the presence of God. God has sent me to come on this media. That no matter what, what you do, no matter what you do, you need the presence of God. You need the presence of God. This thing I am talking about it. Moses saw it in, in, in Exodus chapter 33. He says that if your presence does not go with me, be, for me to go out, for me to go out, for me to take any action, for me to do anything, for me to take a, a decision, for me to move out. If your presence, Exodus chapter 33, let, let me read it to you. Exodus chapter 33, I am talking about the presence. It is very, very important than to, to gather a congregation without a presence. It is very, very important to know the presence of God than to gather crowds without a presence. The presence, it makes the difference. The presence of God makes the difference. The presence of God is everything that we need. The presence of God is so powerful. And that is what we need. That is what we need. I pray that we will cultivate it. I pray that we will love it. I pray that we will spend time in that presence. I pray that we will engage God in that presence. The presence of God is not everywhere. He is a particular place. He is in a particular place that we need to cultivate. We need to engage ourselves we need to do certain things so that we can see the glory of the Lord it says that and now therefore I pray thee if I have found grace in thy sight show me thy way that I may know thee that I may find grace in thy sight and consider that this nation is of my people and he said my presence shall go with thee and I will give thee rest my presence shall go with thee and I'll give thee rest. If you are looking for rest, if you are looking for peace, if you are looking for rest, if you are looking for peace, it is found in the presence of God. You can never find peace outside the presence of God. So if you are there and you are confused, it's because you are not in the presence of God. It says that, it says that, and he said, my presence shall go with thee and I will give thee rest. Even though God has promised Moses to go with him, God has given Moses signs. Moses said, it is true, I like the signs. But if your presence does not go with me, I can never do anything. I am talking about cultivating the presence Amen. of God. The presence of Amen. God. That is the only safety. That is the only secure security you can ever have on this land. On this earth realm, the only secured place is in the presence of God. If you fail to dwell in the presence of God, the devil will kill all your children. Yes. If you fail to dwell in the presence of God, the devil will close your womb. If you fail to dwell in the presence of God, it does not matter how many messages you listen. It does not matter how many church meetings you go. If you fail to dwell in the presence of God, there will never be peace in your life. Because only peace is found in the presence of God. Moses said, if your presence does not go with me, I am not going. It, it, it means that if your presence does not go with me, I'm not going to marry. If your presence does not go with me, I'm not going to get that job. If your presence does not go with me, I'm not going to start the church. If your presence does not go with me, I'm not going to do anything. But now what do we do? We have put the presence of God and we are using logic. We are using gifts. We are using our mind. While the presence of God is, is we have cast it out. There is no peace if we go outside the presence of God. I am talking about cultivating the presence of God. 
I am talking about cultivating the presence of God. So you need to cultivate it because it's a place that you need. You have to gather a place. You have to look for a place. You have to try to check for a place so that you can spend time. You tell God that God, I have come. I've come to speak with you. Even though when I'm speaking, you don't answer. I've come to speak with you. And I know that whilst I'm speaking, through my speaking, you will speak to me. So I am talking about if you don't cultivate it, things will not get well in your life. Things will not get well in your life. Bible says that but Jonah rose up and flee unto Tarshish from the presence of the Lord and went down to Joppa and he found a ship going to Tarshish. So he paid for the fare thereof and went down into it and go with them to Tarshish from the presence of God from the press the only place i saw that somebody is is is, is buying a ticket to, to run away from the presence of god is this scripture he bought ticket say up uh, yeah i'm not go i'm not staying i'm oh. i will not stay i'm going let me read it he says that but jonah rose up to flee unto tashes from the presence of god press he, he, he has bought ticket he bought a plane ticket he bought a net train ticket bus ticket. Where are you going? I am going out from the presence of God. What a sad news. What about you, brother? You watching me, what about you? Do you, do you run away from the presence of God? Do you, do you spend time with God? Do you cultivate time with God? Do you, do you have a place for God? The devil has taken an advantage over us. But what happened? He went down. So if you fail to dwell in the presence of God, you go down in life. You don't go up. Life is upward. You must go up. You must excel. You must, you must achieve great things. Amen. My ways may be foolishness unto your ears, but this is the best, key, best, best message I am giving to you through this platform. That if you fail to dwell in the presence of God, you will go down. You go down. You will not go up. So it says that, and Jonah, he bought a ticket and then ran away from the presence of God and he went down. He went down. Are you down in life? Is things not getting well in life? Look for the presence. Sister, brother, let's look for the presence of God. That is what we need. That is why the Bible says that in the last days, people here will be itching to hear many, many messages which will lead them into destruction. And when we are talking about the presence of God, only few people will give yes to us. But that is the key, even for your prosperity, even for your breakthrough, even for anything that you live on this earth. If you put the presence of God down and you try to do things on your own, you fail. And that is why many people have failed in life. Why? Because they have failed to cultivate the presence of God. Where do you stand in life? Where do you stand in life? In marriage, where do you stand? Which office do you stand? You may be an apostle. You may be a prophet. You may be an evangelist. You may be a teacher. But you need to cultivate the presence of God. Amen. This thing I have mentioned is a gift that God has given to us. You may be gifted, but if you fail to cultivate the presence of God, you have failed God. That is why the Bible says that in that day, he will say that go away from me, for I knew, I, I don't know you. Why? Because in the presence of God, he will know you. In the presence, he will know you. So if you don't spend time, if you don't have time for God, God will not have time for you. If you don't spend time with God, God also will not spend time with you. He says that draw near to me and I will draw near unto you. If you come close to God, God will come close to you. God, that, that is the principle of God. If you come close to God, God will come close to you. So if you not come close to God and when you wake up, you just dress up and you just go to your work or you wake up, you dress up, you pick up your bag and you go wherever you want to go. God will not go with you. 
His presence does not go with people who are not serious. His presence goes with people who spend time with him, who, 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 who spend time and speak to God, who tell God that, God, this is the area. This is my place I have cultivated for you. This is your presence. This is the time I will meet you. If you fail to do that, I am sorry. You may be in church 10 years. It won't work. You may be in church 20 years. It won't work. We will give you all prophecy. It won't work. You will try to do certain things, it won't work. The only thing that can work for you is in the presence of God. And Jonah rose up. I love it. Jonah rose up and flee. A lot of people are a lot of people are running away. Once they get up, they wash their face, brush their teeth, dress up, bah, they run away from the presence of God. And Jonah rose up and flee. Jonah, he rose up and flee. From the presence of God. If Jonah, the prophet of God, is running away, how much more a church member? Jonah, the prophet of God, is running away. No wonder. No wonder that when the statistics was made in an America, <laughs> average, average man of God in an America, when the statistics was made, average man in America, average, average pastor, they, they pray only five to ten minutes. Only five to ten minutes. The presence of God. The presence of God. The presence of God. Oh God, keep me near by your side. Give me your presence. Show me your presence. Show me your way. Take everything away from me. The other day David was speaking. He said that, God, you can take anything away from me. You can do anything, but take not thy Holy Spirit from me. If you take it, my presence, my communion with you will vanish. My communion with you will scatter. Lord, give me by your side. Give me your presence. Give me your presence. It doesn't matter the 2,000 demons that are coming from my background. It does not matter what the commune is saying. It does not matter what the home office are saying. It does not matter the court, the decisions of the court. Lord, give me your presence. If I have the presence of God, I am finished. Because in that presence, I will get peace. In that presence, God will speak to me. In that presence, he will tell you that I am with thee. He will tell you that no weapon form against you. He, he will speak straight ways to me. But if I go out from the presence of God, things will not get well. I want to get you there. Amen. You are too busy that you cannot have time for God again. You are too busy that even those of us who says we have the presence, we are too busy that whilst we are in the presence, you are doing something else. Whilst we are in the presence of God, you, you, you are on your Facebook. Whilst we are in the presence of God, where is phone? You don't have phone here. <laughs> whilst you are in the presence of God, and somebody, you are in the presence of God, you are, you are doing something special. Then somebody will call you, and then you pick the phone. Me bumpire, me bumpire, I'm praying. Me, you are met from me, you are met from when I finish. Then you put the phone down and and then you, you continue. You continue uh, whilst you are in the presence. Then another call will come. That time you see, then you get angry because it's Serenga and you are in the presence of God. So your anger in the presence of God will even kill you because you are in the presence of God and you look at it. Then, then, then don't they know that I'm in the presence of God? But that is not the real presence of God. Yes. And this is what is happening. It's, it's, it's happening everywhere. And the, the, the real power we need to get, the, the real law, you see, Christianity is so sweet. If, if you can catch this revelation, it's so sweet. It's so, it, it's so sweet than every, everything you can ever have. It's so sweet than anything. But now we have failed to dwell in the presence of God. We wake up 5 a.m. We are into our work. 6 a.m. We are in our work. You come back home. You are tired. Then you you. It's like it's like God is a God is a two hours God for only Sunday. Two hours Sunday. The presence of God. The presence of God. The presence of God is all I need. The presence of God. The presence of God. 
Oh, the presence of God is on me. The presence of God. The presence of God. Hey, the presence of God. Oh, it's all I need. Oh, the presence of God. Hey! The presence of God. Oh, the presence of God is all I need. And Zachariah said unto the angel, Whereby shall I know this? For I am an old man, and my wife is well stricken in years. And the angel answered and said unto him, I am Gabriel that stands in the presence of God. Hallelujah. We've got one person here who says that, as for me, I don't care. I stand in the presence of God. He says that I am Gabriel. That stand. Where do you stand? You stand in front of your boss. You stand in front of your work. That Gabriel said, I am Gabriel who stands in the presence of God. You stand in, in the presence of Pharaoh. You stand in the presence of, of your manager. You stand in the presence of your cleaning. You stand in the presence of your teacher. You stand in the presence of any way you, you can ever you can mention. But for the presence of God, you have neglected. Hmm. Something dangerous is coming. Something dangerous is coming. Hmm. Zachariah, Zachariah, Mr. Zach, was asking somebody, like, who are you? We, nowadays, we, we, we can't say. We are, we, we, because if you are not, you are not. So it says that I am Gabriel, who stands in the presence of God. And this evening, I am praying for you that this desire, you will cultivate it within you. Amen. You will rise up within you. Amen. And then you, you, say, you also say to yourself, I, 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 am, I am Victoria, that stands in the presence of God. I, I, am, I, am, I am Rebecca, that stands in the presence of God. I, I, I am Janet, that stands in the presence of God. I, I, I am Kate, that stands in the presence of God. I, I, I am Philip, that stands in the presence of God. Some people stand in the presence of their wife. They stand in the presence of their husband. They stand in the presence of TV. TV is their presence. They wake up and their presence is TV. So once they come from work, their presence is television. Some people, their presence is football. Everything that you do, if you fail to, to fulfill the presence of God, you amount zero for anything that you achieve in this life. The presence of God. Presence of God. God is crying. Now everybody has neglected God. We have neglected God. With no, no presence again. So now everything, everything is going. Because it's like we don't have time for God again. You, you are the one who stands in the presence of your doctor. You stand in the presence of your doctor. Not the presence of God. I pray for you. That you will get there. Amen. God loves you so much and he wants you to get there. And this evening, this is all what I want to, I can share with you. That if you can love it and cultivate it, you will be a blessing to your generation. Amen. You will be a blessing to your family. Amen. Listen, the things that we are dealing with, without the presence of God, we will fail. Without the presence of God, we cannot make it. Without the presence of God, things will not get, work well for us. Without the presence of God, is any easy sow. So you need to cultivate the presence of God. It doesn't matter what you do every day. It does not matter what you do every day. I pray for you, sister. I pray for you, brother. That as you, as you are moving in this life, as you are walking through this journey, I pray for you that the presence of God, you will cultivate it. You will think about it. You, you will stand in it every day and every day, night. And Elijah the Tishbite, who was of the inhabitant of Gilead, said unto Ahab, as the Lord God of Israel liveth, before whom I stand, before whom I stand. Where do you stand? Where do you stand? Before whom I stand. I am, I am, I, 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 I am Elijah. And I, I am telling you that I am standing before God. Whom I, I stand. I stand before him. I come before him and I stand. 
and I, I spend time with him and I commune with him. Remember the scriptures I gave thee. You see, and I will meet thee and commune with thee. I love that. I love that. I will meet thee. Sister, the moment you try to cultivate a place for God, he will meet you. He will come and speak to you about that problem. He will come and speak to you about that situation. He will come and speak to you. And that is what he told Moses. He says, and there I will meet thee. The presence. The presence. The presence of God. You need it. What is holding you for you not to spend time? Don't you know that where you are, sickness can kill you? Don't you know that the sickness that killed your mother is coming after you? And the best place is in the presence of God. You may go to church, but if you fail to dwell in the presence of God, when any arrow is coming, it will hit you. When any demon is coming, it will get to you. The presence of God. I am Gabriel who stands in the presence of God. I am Elijah. I am Elijah. I am telling you that I, I stand in the presence of God, the God whom I stand. Where do you stand? Where do you stand? You are, you are, you are somebody who stands in, 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 the, in the presence of Atum TV. You stand in the presence of television. You stand in the presence of radio station. You stand in the presence of, oh my God, or say, hey, someone, blessed are those who does not walk in the council of ungodly. Thank you, Jesus. I pray that this generation will know God. Amen. Going to church doesn't, it doesn't make you know God. You know God a little, but we need to cultivate. Blessed is the man. Blessed is the man who does not walk in the counsel of ungodly, at the presence of ungodly, <clears throat> nor standed in the way of sinners, the presence of sinners, nor seated in the seat of scoffers, the presence of scoffers, but his delight is in the law of the law, and, and in, in his law do he meditate day and night. And he shall be like a tree planted by the river of water that bringeth forth, forth fruit in his season. His leaves shall never wither, and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. You want to prosper in life? <laughs> you want to prosper in marriage? <laughs> you want to prosper in business? Don't joke with the devil. Don't, don't joke with the devil. You want to prosper in life? You want to be happy in life? You want God to prosper you? You want God to promote you? You want, you want to go to heaven. You want to have a good relationship with your, with your people around you. Get connected to the presence. It says that whatever you do it shall prosper. Things that we are, I come here to share is not something, it's not bread and butter. It's something deep. People are crying. You, the solution is in the presence. Get connected to the presence. God loves you so much that don't allow anybody to, to, to block you from the presence of God. Don't allow any don't even allow your wife to block you from the presence of God. You have allowed your work to block you from the presence of God. Hey! You've allowed your wife, you've allowed the new car you have bought to block you from the presence of God. And because of that, the devil also is watching you, thinking that one day he will crash you up. But I pray for you that you love the presence of God. Come back to the presence of God. This is the place. That is the safety place. That is why I say that he that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of Almighty. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge, my fortress, in whom will I trust. He will deliver me from the snare of a fowler. He will deliver thee from the snare of a fowler. He would deliver thee from the snare of a fowler. He would deliver thee from the snare of a fowler. So if you don't dwell in the presence of God, brother, forget it. Forget it. Forget your gift. You sing, and so what? You preach, and so what? You prophesy, and so what? It's a gift. You play drums, and so what? You play organ, and so what? No wonder that flesh has taken dominion over our churches. Why? Because we have failed 
to dwell in the presence of God. Wherever you are, I want to invite you that God wants you to dwell in his presence. Spend time, 30 minutes, every day. One hour, every day. Nowadays, what do we do? Even news is one hour. News is one hour. Anything in secular, anything you do, which is not one hour, we don't accredit it as something. Anything you do, that is not one hour. We don't accredit. There's no credit on it. It's like you fall short. Because even in secular, everything we make one hour, one hour, one hour, one hour, one hour, one hour. So you can watch television one hour, news one hour, but the presence of God, you can't do it one hour. I pray for you that God will give you grace. This is the safety place you can ever dwell. Do anything that you want to do, but you fail to dwell in the presence of God. Your title will kill you. But once you are there, demons can never find you. Once you are there, witches can never find you. Once you are there, sickness can never find you because they will try to fly over you. But by the time they will come, they won't find you because you are in the presence of God. I want to beg you, sister, that before you go out, spend time with him. Spend time with God. Cultivate that place. He is not everywhere, but you can bring God in your house. You can bring God in that car. You can bring God in that kitchen. You can bring God into the situation. That can never be changed. I want to pray for you. That the presence of God will rest over your life. God will touch your heart. God will touch your mind. That you cultivate it. Anything you want to do for God, that you cannot do it. If there is anything that is holding you today, that thing is being broken. Get ready for God. Spend time with God. Right now, spend time. Before you go on bed, spend time. Dedicate your life for God. Pray to God. Spend time with God. Create an, an environment. Create a place. Create something for God. Let God know that you, you are also existent. God, let God know that you are around. Let God know that you, you, you are, his, you, you are his, his child. Let God know. Let Manyami who say who 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 can at as a for the presence, the presence, the presence. Thank you so much. Uh, tonight I just this evening I just came to speak something small to you. And um, by the grace of God, Friday, last Friday we wanted to do a minute all night from nine o'clock to eleven o'clock in UK time, but something came to cross it and. We had a little problems and we couldn't do it. But by the grace of God, this Friday, we are going to do it. We are going to do it. Prayers is very, very important. But spend time with God alone. You alone. Not a group. That group, I know you are very good in the group one. But you spend time alone. Let God, let God. That is why when you, even when you are, when you are even talking to somebody you love most and you are talking and people are around, you tell the person that I'll call you back where I am I can't talk people are there I can't talk so I'll call you back or or if it be even you see the corner you off it because people are around so if if human being we even know this thing how much God God want only you to spend time with him spend time so that he can commune with thee you see I love that say I'll meet thee and commune with thee not everything that God want to speak in the multitude of people but once you get close to him, you will speak to him. I'm a testimony of what I'm sharing. I can never come and share anything I don't do. I share things I do. It has been a blessing to me. And I found favor in his presence. And I hear his, his voice. And he speaks to me. And he directs my path. And he shows me what to do. And he protects me. And he guides me. And in him I live and move and have my being. And I pray that I, I can never hide this secret. Uh, that is what I'm sharing with you. That if you want to become strong, it's in the presence of God. If you follow gift, gift is just a gift. But the presence of God bypasses everything. It bypasses apostles, it bypasses prophets, it bypasses everything. <clears throat> because there, he will meet thee and commune with thee. That's all. God bless you so much. I love that, that word. I will meet thee and commune with thee. That's all. Once you... Get a place for God. It doesn't matter what people are saying. Just meet him 
and it will show you. Well, God bless you so much. We are so grateful to come on your way with this few um, words of encouragement. We know that you've, you've been a blessing and um, I know that God is on your side. Don't give up. It doesn't matter what the devil is doing. Just look for a place. Speak to God. Don't allow your telephone to be a God. Don't wake up and the first thing you go and check is, has somebody test me message? Don't do that. It's a very, it's a poor man's mentality. Don't do that. It's very, very bad. Spend time with God. Let your mind be on God. Don't just wake up and the first thing is you go, just go on Facebook. Just to go and do what? And that is why we are powerless. We, we don't have power again. The first thing you just wake up as is you just, you just go to internet straight or you wake up and the first as you brush your teeth straight to kitchen to go and look for food and eat. What a shock. And, and, and that, that is a, that is a mentality in a way that you are, you are forsaken to know that somebody protected you. And that is why you wake up. You wake up and the every, as you wake up straight, you just dress up, then you go to school. You think that God, God is not watching you. And when a problem comes, then you'll be crying. I've been going to church all this while. I don't know what has happened to me. I'm going to church. Yeah. Is it going to church? Bring that thing. It's in the presence of God. You may be playing organ, you may be doing anything you want to do, but if you fail to dwell in the, I've been helping people, I've been going to church, I help people, when I help people, they pay me bad. And... Yeah. Look for a place for God. Let God locate you. Look, it doesn't matter what the family, it doesn't matter whatever things, it, it, does, it doesn't matter the background, the witches in the background and the voice that, are, that has been raising against you. It doesn't matter. Age, in the presence of God, chains got broken. Amen. In the presence of God, deliverance take place. Amen. In the presence of God, opportunities open. In the presence of God, doors open. In the presence of God, he make a way where there is no way. In the presence of God, he create path in the sea. In the presence of God, he show his mighty power. In the presence of God, he show his mighty strength. In the presence of God. If you know what I'm sharing with you, you will never follow anybody. But you rather follow the presence of God. And through the presence of God, God will give you wisdom. God will give you knowledge. God will give you understanding Amen. to live with anybody that comes on your way. I am talking about cultivating the presence of God. I love to do that. Cultivate the presence of God. That is the best thing you can ever do. That is the best thing you can ever do. Don't just get up and straight away to your work. Don't just get up straight away. You on your your your, your you just check whether somebody is calling you. Some people even they get up in the night and check their phone whether some they even know that nobody has tested them all, but they will check it. How many of us has gotten up in the night and just bow down your knees and speak in tongues for five minutes before you go on bed? But you can wake up in the night, go to bathroom, drink water, take your phone, use 10 minutes, then you sleep again. And we have become powerless in this life. Ladies and gentlemen, God is counting on you. A lot of different religions are taking dominion. My, my, our, our nearby religion, they, they are doing 40 days. 40 days in a certain presence. 40 days in a certain presence. They say they will finish on Thursday. I ask them today. A certain presence. Christian, I, I don't want to talk about it. We, we come fast. We are fast less church members. We don't... We, we, we have complain upon complain upon complain upon complain upon complain. We fail. You, you, you are known to extend say, God is now angry with us because we fail to cultivate his presence. If you fail in life, it's not about God. God has given everything for us. But if we spend time with him, he will make a way for you. Amen. I want to beg you, I, want, I don't want only me to have the power of God. I don't want only me to have the relationship with God. So it says that I will meet thee. I love that verse. I will meet thee and commune with thee. So it means that when I set myself and I saturate myself, 
that my small room, God comes there. He's not everywhere. He's where you will say you will mention his name. Where you will mention his name. Where you will say that God, I am bringing this place for you. I pray for you. That in anything that you do, in, in, in your marriage, in your business, in, 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 in your education, you will put God first. You, you cultivate a place for him. You spend time with him. You spend time with him. Remember that he created you. He gave you the wisdom. He gave you the eyes. He gave you the nose. He gave you everything. By spending time with him has become a problem. Spending time. It's like a husband who has bought telephone for his wife. And the wife is now minding the husband again. Every day, the wife is on, 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 on WhatsApp. Every day, the wife is on social media. She is cooking. The hand is pressing somewhere. Then you make, by the time she realize the food has got bent, he has forgotten that whilst he was doing something. You are forgotten. Listen, this thing is so rare. And this is happening in, in, in our life. God is watching you. Come back to God. It's not too late. And when you come, he will bless you. May God bless you this evening. We are so grateful with my family to come on your way. And then Friday, um, by 9 o'clock, we will enter into fireworks. We are going to pray a lot of prayer. But I, I want you to cultivate the, the prayer. Cultivate time for God. Spend time. If it is 30 minutes, 30 minutes, just do it. Even though it's, it's not too much strong. Because even news is one hour. If you are going to work and they tell you that come 5 o'clock and when you come 5 o'clock, you are going to close 5.30, you won't go. Which kind of work is that? They, they, they say I should come and do 30 minutes. Which kind of work is But when, once they, they begin to say from one hour going, then a strength comes on you. It's the same thing as God. But you can start from somewhere. And when you start from somewhere, you'll get somewhere. May God bless you and strengthen you and empower you. I pray that you've been a blessing to this broadcast. Get connected to me. If you are sick in any part of your body, I pray that the healing power will rest over your life. I'm his servant who stands in his presence in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening. And I speak healing into your life. I speak breakthrough into your life. I speak success into your life. I speak strength into your life. If you are down, I command you to lift yourself up. Rise up in the mighty name of Jesus. If you are down by the devil, battered by the devil, beaten by the devil, tonight I exchange blow with the devil and I connect my heart with your heart and I lift your soul up. Rise up. You can do it. Rise up. Don't allow circumstances to bring you down. Don't allow things that have surrounded you to bring you down. But rise up and call Beat the presence of God and you break through. May you run through a troop. May you run through the race. May you win the race. May you be an overcomer. May you be a can-do person. May you be anointed. May you be empowered. May your spirit be strengthened. May you rise up above every power and every demon that rises up against you and your family. May you become a victorious in life. May you dwell in the secret place of the Most High through death. You will say he is the Lord of your refuge. Be blessed. Be empowered. Be anointed. I speak peace into your life. Get connected. And we have more message to you. May the Lord bless you. Remember, stop them before they stop you. If you don't stop them, God bless you. Well, Mr. Isaac, God bless you for joining. Barbara, join us. Dollar also join us. Uh, Ama also join us. Uh, Nana Poku also join us. Uh, Obey also join us. Eva join us. Rahel, God bless you for joining us. Uh, Abid also join us. <laughs> Ousu Buahi, Clifford, God bless you. Ansi George, God bless you for joining us. Apostle Dakon, bless you. Apostle, how are you? Good to see you. Uh, B, God bless you. Evangelist uh, Anthony, we are so grateful to have you on our show. God bless you. Kajo Admako, Kajo bless you so much. Pray that God will strengthen you. Yeah, Ohine Paul, bless you. Hey, long time. May the Lord strengthen you. Francisca, God bless you for joining us. Um, Manuel Ishraba Anchi, the same thing. Bless you so much. Patrick, Patrick Anika, may the Lord strengthen you. Uh, Odro, may the Lord empower you and strengthen you. May you become Ojashos, Fayashos, anointed to fight the enemy back in the name of Jesus. Odro said, God bless you, Papa. I receive it in Jesus' name. Sofo Bafi, Sofo Nyamishra for joining us. Joy is granting. Joy, bless you so much. I'll meet you on Friday. 
this time I promise Joyce uh, I promise uh, 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 you'll see me live on Friday yes and it's going to be fireworks so uh, I pray for you that whatever you do it will be a blessing may the Lord make you a just fireshot person that in anything that you do may your enemies fall down before you may you triumph over your enemies because by doing that God will clap for you be blessed so we meet again. May the peace of God rest over your life. And I cover you with his feathers. Amen. I put you under his canopy. Amen. That may you dwell and receive strength. In Jesus' mighty name. I love you all. And I'll come on your way. Amen. God bless you all. Bye-bye.